Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Banished. We're playing the Colonial Charter Mod 1.6, The Forge Awakens, and we're in our town of Ramlington here. And in between this episode and the last one, I had one of those aha moments. Uh, you know, slap yourself upside the head. And I was watching a Night Ghost 49 episode, he just put out episode 10 in between these two episodes, and... He did something that I had forgotten all about. I discovered this long ago and then didn't think of it again. He head over to the icon chart. I use this to figure out what is that, you know, that, here's an example. That thing in the stockpile. Well, no, that isn't, it didn't help. Remember, I was trying to figure out what was, uh, oh, where is an example? Okay, now that I want to show you something, I can't find it. Are they in this one? Here's one. What were these? It took me a long time to figure out they were bricks. I would have thought I would have gone here, but I guess I didn't, because this isn't the same as that. See, these look like bricks. These are red and white. And they look like... I don't know what they look like. Candy bars. I don't know. But um, I really only used this chart to look up an icon to see what it was, but I do remember noticing that here's all the categories here's basically the uh, the chain that it travels down he was looking for coffee too trying to figure out what coffee does or how you deal with the coffee and he got to here and it's empty coffee beans are grown in an orchard where does the coffee go well trader and luxury so i am thinking luxury in the sense that coffee may have something to do with an inn or more likely, when we get to version, you know, Colonial Charter version 1.6.1, maybe, maybe we're going to see a brewing house of some kind pop up in here to deal with coffee. In other words, there may be more happening in some of these places that they just haven't finished their work yet, and there's more buildings coming. I hope, I hope, I hope. So anyway, just wanted to, to throw that up. <laughs> Throw that up at you. <laughs> Watch out, it's going to get messy. Um, so, Tunnel just came in. There's a couple of things I left over from last episode to remind me what's going on. Um, that is this guy. Move this up here. So we threw that tunnel in just kind of for fun. Just to give him a little shortcut on getting over here without having to walk all the way around the hill. It's not so much a critical issue now, but it might be later as this area builds. Um... There's no way to pop this direction, so they're just going to have to walk around. And we need to get the small quarry going. No, not quarry. Uh, we need to get the housing going around it, and then we need to upgrade it when the candles get made. Look at my list here. My infamous to-do list. We also need to get storage in around all of these shore houses. We still haven't done that yet, although we've only been running for about a year since then. Um, a lot of that store is here, actually. So sand is here, clay, clay is there. So they're popping them into here for now. And the the frogs, where are you? Frogs and uh, turtles are landing here. Am I not seeing frog legs? Not seeing frog legs. Turtles, not seeing turtles. Have you guys found any yet? We haven't, they haven't actually been running for a, a real long time. Well, they're running longer than I thought. I bet you at those quantities, though, they're eating them. Turtle there. Yeah, so I'm thinking we have probably 13 left in the whole town. And frog, no frog, and no turtle. Okay. Um, so anyway, we need to get storage need to get a certainty that we've got storage set up over here um, and there's more to look at but let's move on with what we're what we've got so far in fact let's just deal with the storage right now let me make sure though I didn't leave any traders behind no they're fine and storage we can go a couple of different ways these drop off in the stockpile so the fastest way is just boom stockpile it's done we could go a little bit fancier and go in with a warehouse Though that seems a bit excessive for this. This is more of a small, low-key 
country alongside of the lake with uh, hovering uh, ducks and farms. So a big warehouse doesn't seem right for here. So let's just go ahead and stockpile here and we'll do a stockpile here at the ends of the roads. And that's what we'll do. Um, do we need one long stockpile or where's the footprint? It just shows the built the part that's built doesn't show the rectangle anymore. I just wonder if we could stick a stockpile between each one, just a small little thing, but yeah, we'll see. Stockpile. That's here, here, and this one is specifically materials. So let's go ahead and do that. But exactly where do we want them? We got four in this area. So center to this area is here. And did we have a road over here? We never got the road over here. Aha. Let's do a road that is more of the mossy fallen leaves country road look. And that was going to come off of this. What happens if you put a mossy road over the top of a gravel road? Will they replace or will it say there already is a road here, nothing is going to change, and you're going to have to delete the other road? I think that's the answer. Um, let's go from here diagonal this way. How far does that go? It takes us to near the water's edge. Let's do that. Stop. And now let's tie this guy. This will come off the back side. And take that up to the... Boy, it's hard to do this when you... It doesn't actually leave a red line when you go to... You know, there's no footprint there. Well, we'll do this one little bit at a time, but I wanted to see... That's right, I guess I can do it this way. I wanted to put the stockpile in and around that diagonal road, probably in this space. So I can see that. Where am I? Stockpile is here. Material. Stockpile. The road's right there. Okay. So let's go kind of in between all four. So it'd be in this area here. So let's go from this space something like that okay that leaves us room for another house here and here and whatever else ends up being in this area um, and eventually I don't suppose we really have to road to every one of these it's not that critical they're only taking three or four steps before they hit a road it might look nice to leave it natural but let's do a material stockpile down in here somewhere. Um, that's still queued up right there. And we'll use it as a way to take out... Let's see, that is red. Let's leave a space for a road. In fact, let's go ahead and do a road here. Just because it's in a nice straight line and we don't have to do a whole bunch of diagonal stuff to get there. Um, road... And this one is probably going to remain trees for a while, so let's go ahead and use the, the country looking one. We'll do that. Yeah, I think that's right. And then, got a big road here. We're going to come off with a small one, like so. And then we're going to convert over to a country looking road, like so. See how that effect comes out when it, when it gets built. And then that gives us our borders for what I was trying to do before, the material stockyard, stock pile. So we are here. Four by four. I think that'll be enough. Yeah, well, it, may, it may completely surprise me, but we'll see. Um, we've got this here. Does this have the ability to pull in? Yep, clay right there and sand right there so it can do it let's just save them a few steps by going to here this guy's going to come and grab it then and bring it into here and someone else is going to grab it and bring it into here so that'll be fine 
Um, I answered a question that I had many episodes ago, and I never took the time to come up with my answer or to, to talk about it. What are you? You're the small iron smelter who is still in need of furnace fuel. Are we really still hurting? Well, I'm running at 1 and 2 speed while I'm doing all this talking, so probably hasn't been a lot of time that's gone by since then. Anyway, I was trying to figure out a way to pull all that iron out of the forest nodes into here, and there's no me mechanism to do that. So I ended up putting into a, trainer, a trader, and then, well, this trader here, actually, and then dumping it out, and they landed there. There is a way to pull it into here. Not this one in particular, but there is a way to pull it into distribution barn and maybe the resource depot. So adjustable storage for your available range of product and resources. You'll have to have at least one product type for a storage button to appear. Items stored in the building will be released into your town when you decrease the number. In other words, you can manually uh, bring things into a storage building and hold on to it and then release it when you want. So in that sense, you can determine what gets drawn from one part of the map to another. We might put one of those to specifically draw iron and logs into this area and then release it into a more generic place like this. In fact, that would work great because that does those same resources, the, the wood, stone, iron, fuel, and then all of your materials. So we could we could have put one like right here. It would draw it in from all over the map and then release it into this guy and available to use in the industry right here. But what I was thinking about when we maybe start talking about this is the sand and clay is going to get dropped off over here and it's going to end up here. Well, to use it, this glass works is going to have to walk all the way over there and grab that sand and come all the way back. It'd be nice to find a way to force the game to bring it to this area of the map. So, iron is low. Logs are low. We've got to work on this, this episode. But, let's play with this idea. At least experiment with it. See if it works. Can we? Now, what is the difference in the two of them? A distribution barn, which can have workers assigned. Ah, Maybe that's the element that's missing here. Items stored will be released. Will not be freely available to people without your intervention. So this looks like a, the passive version of it. They'll drop it off here and, they'll, and it'll just hold. This one looks like it actually goes and gets it. Um, workers assigned which will empty it into the next nearest regular storage location. Maybe the two work in tandem? But this looks like what I'm wanting. That looks like what I'm describing. This goes to get it and then dumps it into there, if it's near there. And that's small enough where it could almost, you know, where it could be near here. Where do we have that footprint left? We do right here, kind of. Well, we could make it happen. And that still gives us a nice triangle for this park. Go one more space in and drop that there. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to experiment with this one. You are waiting for an employee because we're waiting for furnace fuel. So, what's with furnace fuel? Here. Um. 10. Okay, we still have a furnace fuel problem. And I may be related to this right here, too. We can't get the firewood over here. Because it's all being made over there in the forest nodes. Because that's where the logs are. When we have logs. Okay, we need logs. Let's go do a clearing. I sub I'm guessing we've never had a successful log making industry. We go through and do the random clearing so we can see what we're doing. And that artificially dumps a whole bunch of logs into the system. And that's what takes care of it. Uh, logs. Wait a minute here. I just got a little flash of a fragmented memory. I want... What do I want here? Forester. Did we strip them out the last time we had trouble with labor? Well, we took some out. Not much. Um, 
it may be time to throw another force node in right here let's see if we can't cram that one into the to-do list maybe move it up the line a little bit deer pigs and sheep well that's easy we're done with that so that's done um, <clears throat> we're going to need a another butcher pasture 8 of yeah, 8 of 28 10 of 28 okay so we're not going to actually need the pig butcher for quite a while the deer butcher we have lots of venison coming out of the hunters and sheep's there beef is here okay so okay yeah that was the, what I was dealing with okay so let's go ahead and get another forest node going in and mostly I do a forest node with the whole works got the gatherer got the hunter everything maybe we'll just concentrate on forestry and we and the occasional gatherer let's take this whole area and call it just a huge resource gathering area temporarily don't know what we're going to be doing here you know two months from now when this series finally grows out this far this will give us a well i say that give us a burst of, of stone which we are running out of because we're not making it but we've already cleared a lot of this we will get some stone out of here but if we popped in three forest nodes real quick with have labor have a little labor with um what am i thinking of with a couple of like three forest nodes with gatherers and hunters between the three so two sets of gatherers and hunters three forest nodes because the forest circle is smaller than the gather circle we could have just this huge um, powerhouse of logs and uh, all the the raw goods from the gatherer and the the hunting flowing into the town from this uh, from this direction and then if it works out that way we can use this guy and maybe another one, maybe scatter them around to draw all those materials over to this part of the, of the town. So let's see if that works, but let's pop into this guy real quick just to make sure that, that there's nothing that we need. Horses and cows, Frisian cows. Is there, is that the source of milk? I don't remember if there was a quote unquote milk cow. Let's see. Um, I'm just noticing my phone while I'm staring at this. It, while I'm recording this, I know my alarm's going to go off in three minutes to remind me to take my dog out. I was going to turn that alarm off, but um, what am I doing here? Decorations, animals. But if I knew if I turned it off, then I wouldn't turn it back on tomorrow when I need it. So let's see, cows. Where are cows? There's bison. Is this alphabetical? Now beef cows, Frisian cows, and that's it. So this must be the beef source, and this is the milk source. Though I would imagine you get beef here too, which means this is probably the better cow to have, because you get two somethings from it rather than one. We'll get Frisian cows when we get up to the other side of the map, and then we'll be able to compare the two. All right, so we're going to say no to the trader, and we'll turn that off. So when you hear a, a noise here in a second or two, that'll be my my phone going off. Our dog gets forgotten once in a while, so we set an alarm. We, uh, we're living in an apartment and don't have a yard at the time, so we've got to take her out several times a day. Anyway, let's get three forest nodes going out here. So, resources, forester, and so what we've discovered here is that new trees means it only grows the new models of the trees, whereas the original does the originals. I kind of like the original better. Just do. In fact, enough so that I would be willing just to take this guy out and put a, an original one back in here. 
You know, I think I will do that. Let's... While we're doing this whole thing... Remove building. Okay. And let's remember that. So, over here, we're going to put in a forester there. Now, this might be a good place to get some hardwood going. I was, I was going to wait till we got to the other side of the river. We could have at least one of these making hardwood. I think it's a smaller circle. So, let's take this corner down here, the closest to our town, get the hardwood going there. And what speed are we running at? I think we'll go ahead and kick this up. I lost him. Yo, there you are. So, hardwood is going out of there. Keep that pinned. And let's grab... Are we running, though? It just looks awfully still. Where's the people? There's the people. Okay, that feels more... better. Four question marks. What just happened? Oh, I just... I just took their job away. Yep. Alright, foresters... Oh, they're at the top, aren't they? No, they're not. Farmers are at the top, out, out of the alphabetical order. Uh, foresters. I'm going to take you guys down. You are laborers. You are builders right now. Okay. So, forest, that's a hardwood forest there. Um, I think just one. I don't know. Let's see, will this tell me? Speaking of that tool I mentioned at the beginning go to hardwood. Can it be turned into firewood? Or is that just logs? So firewood, firewood cutter, firewood fuel. Is there hardwood? I'm sure there is. Yeah, it's this one. Materials. Forester. I don't get the sense from this that it can become a fuel source. So it is probably just the, uh, the materials chain rather than the fuel chain. Okay. So we're just going to do one of these. Because logs and firewood are pretty important. So, important enough that it's causing us to do all of this work. So let's get into this guy. And when this tears down, in fact, let's pause. Let's prioritize that. So it can happen while we're doing all this. And we don't have to go back to try and remember to get back here again later. Okay, one more time. Forestry. Put this guy in. Much bigger yellow circle, if you can see that. You see the hardwood circle below it. This is the the standard forestry department. Forestry uh, building. So let's go ahead and put this guy here. He can be on the road. Okay, that's nice. On the existing road, right there. And it disappeared. Are they done? Wow, they're good. Okay. That is the same guy right here. Turn. That's how we had it. Boom. Okay. And one more. One more. Let's see there. We're over here. Did we... We did pin it. I'm sure it's there. There it is. It's just a little yellow. It's hard to see through the trees. Can't see the forest for the trees, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not the pattern I was looking for. I was thinking of a triangle. This thing kind of messed me up. It did kind of mess me up. Let's make that go away. Let's go with the real forester there. Where am I? Here, here, here. So we're going to overlap a little bit. That's fine. So he's there. And we'll throw a road straight up into there. Um, road. We'll do the grassy or the, the leaf covered road. Like that. And we've got to remember stockpile is going to be an issue here. And where did that go? Right there. No, nope, that's not it. Well, we'll build them first, then we'll come back for the roads. So, now we've got a circle here, and a circle here. So, I want to be kind of out over here at the hardwood. 
So, trees. Hardwood. Okay. Okay, that circle's there. That one is there. There's no way to get in there real tight. But we'll go there. And I'm tempted to go one more. Right up in here. Okay, I detect this circle. That circle goes about there. I like that. Alright, so four foresters. And go ahead and get the, the people walking again. And we will road this after. I think so. Kind of, you know, if I can see some buildings, it'll at least help me not do something dumb right now. Distribution barn. Okay. This will take... There's three already. It's part of our town of our markets. Our market system. But... It isn't doing what I was thinking it was doing. Okay, let me read that again. Which can have worker sign which will empty it into the next nearest regular storage location. So this still isn't drawing back what we specifically want it to. Huh. Okay, I'm still not sure how this works. So we still need to do something with the resource depot. Let's take an employee out of here. We'll just use it as storage for the moment. That was odd. Oh, we're out of logs, and it happened at the exact same moment. Okay. So if we're out of logs... which we need to build all these. Well, logs, logs, lumber, lumber. Where can we quickly grab some logs? What will benefit us? Um, tell you what, being able to see the roads around these buildings would benefit us. We'll pop that right there. Right there. This circle is here. And here, right? It was along the road, right there. They're going to replant them anyway. So that's no biggie. Okay, so this guy was kind of a fail. I turned that off, didn't I? I haven't done that in a long time. Here, here. There we are. <laughs> okay, so that was a fail. We'll have to figure out what we can learn from that. Um, thought just hit me. I haven't checked families in a long time. Yeah, we're getting way behind the curve there. Let's drop a log cabin at each one of these uh, foresters just to give them a place to live. That'll up our housing a little bit. Log cabin... So, alongside and a space, two spaces, just to make sure that it wouldn't have been more convenient to put a road there. And this road's coming up out of here, though it may di diagonal over. But still, we can do something like that. Um, and I'm not going to bother to put all these houses up on the side like this. We have another one right here. This road can be just beyond. Now let's go this side. And behind. Okay. Have a trader. In case that diagonal road starts right here, or if it's got to start earlier, or what have you. And there's a fourth one right here. Let's get a house, another log cabin out in this area. So, yeah, something like that. Okay, trader, real quick, is pigs and horses. Skip and continue on. So, we need to figure out then how to deal with storage. What is the resource depot? Well, for starters, it is big. And I hate to... Well, I wish I had a little more room over here. 
look like? That's a nice looking building. But over here, we can't use it to force it to dump into here. It almost needs to be right here. We couldn't have done that if we wanted to, right? I think we'd probably hit water. Well, no, we probably could. It needs to be with this guy if it's going to work. So I guess we need to prove that it's going to work. And if we prove that, then we can move buildings around. Alright, that seems like a worthwhile test. Um, what was I just thinking of? I thought I had... I was looking at it from this side, and there was a place I was going to try. I guess it was here. Hmm. Let's just pop down into here for the moment and see how this guy works. So we're just going to build one. Uh, the materials, nothing to worry worry about. And if I could do it over here, I could almost flatten some ground. Let's do it like that. It'll flatten the ground in this area. Let's keep this queued up right on top of that so we can watch how it works or make sure we realize that it's that is done. Um, was there another trader? There was. And he is bringing maple sap. Oh, that's right. That comes out of the hardwood forest that we just put in, if I recall. And from there, we can make sugar. Uh, soybeans. Papaya. Yeah, we're going to pass on this. And he doesn't deal in silkworm eggs, so we'll dismiss him. And... We should have log. Well, I guess as fast as we're making logs, we're putting them into all these building sites. Okay. So we've got foresters going. All right. And we have a bunch of laborers. So let's add eight more right off the bat. And eventually we'll add more. But we're going to get these trees coming in. Now, let's give each forester a stockpile for logs. So that right off the bat they don't have to walk a long distance. It doesn't have to be a big one. Just to give them a place to drop it off. And it's hard to tell exactly where that needs to be. Meaning if they cut a tree right here yeah, they're going to drop it off. If they're cutting a tree right here they're not going to go all the way back here to drop it off. They're going to go right there. So you know, it's just giving them options is what it is. Now this is what I meant. This diagonal road here Actually, it doesn't have anything to do with this guy. He cuts in. He may go over here than up there. Hmm. What was that last one? A forester diet of old age. That wasn't it. It was the stone is low. Okay. And stone laborers. We need to get stone out of these areas anyway. So let's queue some up. So stone, where am I? Here, here, and... We'll still, we we'll still um, have to deal with how far we're, we're going to walk to get it. So we've already taken out all the convenient stuff. We'll go ahead and grab here and down from there to about like that. That's quite a bit of stone. Okay, so we're coming through. We were doing everything just froze. There we go. That's a house, and that is a forester. We need to do a stockpile over there. Storage, stockpile, logs, and the road. Boy, when it's snowy, it, things just disappear. There. Was there one more? One, two, three, four. There is not. So this just diagonals up. So we can stockpile this side of it and be safe road-wise. I'm doing four by fours out here. Was that all of them? This guy has not been done. No. So this can be... Why are these sitting right here? That's just where they chopped it down and they left it. They can be right where those are. So let's stockpile that one. Another 4x4 four four right there. Okay. So that was a trading post. So we're going to call this area you know, the log problem settled. We're going to need more housing eventually. And we're going to want to get a couple of gatherers and a couple of hunters in here to take advantage of all of these wonderful trees. 
Um, we're doing great on food. I was going to say we could manually clear out a bunch of food. For that matter, I was noticing we could manually clear out a bunch of food just in here. How much is how much is in here? There's no gatherer to come and get them um, here. Though I think if they get hungry, they just go into the forest and grab food on their own. So it's not like this would ever go to waste, but there's the food that's available just in this area. Yep, the crops all got picked up, so we didn't just hurt ourselves by telling the laborers to do other things. Here's a flock of ducks. How are our ducks doing? Ducks, 26. We are now making eggs, bone meal, feathers, and duck meat. Great! So we are at our max now on all of our original herds. 9 and 10. I thought it was 8 and 10. Why would we go downhill? I don't know. Do these die off with age? I wonder if the game can keep track of the age of the individual animals. Hmm. I thought it was 8 and 10. Maybe it was 8 and 10 this way and that 8 became a 9. So, that's still to deal with. Oh, we're at 40 minutes again? The resource depot is being worked on. We could do more foresters, but I'm not going to. Um, because when these pop, we could handle, we could already handle, I think, three more. Twelve, there must be four locations, so four more. Eight, twelve more people in forestry. We're going to have a lot of logs here soon. And we got a lot of stone queued up, and we're fine on that for a while. So, okay. Um, yeah, we really need to get housing going over here. Another trader. And more seeds, and I don't want to think about that right now. So dismiss. Otherwise, any other major issues? We're out of pottery. But that's fine. This guy is a fuel refinery, and we are out of firewood. Okay. Only five in each one. I don't know what it actually takes for each run. Maybe it's more than five. And these guys are all maxed out. Why? Herb limit. Oh, we have a low herb limit, but now we're making herbs. Okay, so let's take this herb limit up. Ah, oh, probably doesn't need to be a limit. Not like we were really lacking storage right now. We'll go to 5,000 for, for right now. So the tailor is hit a limit. Let's up that. Tools tools. Here, building supplier, country smithy, clothier, blacksmith, 250. Yeah, we'll up that one as well. So, I think we need to call this one done for the moment. These guys are finished. We have those houses being built, which we might forget for next time. So let's queue up at least one of those as a reminder that we've got log cabins happening and we've got stockpiles happening in case we don't start over on that side and forget all about it. So with that, we got quite a bit done this time. Got a whole segment of our industry going that I hadn't even planned on, which means the to-do list just got longer. But um, So the to-do list is not a to-done list yet. But next time, we'll chip away at it a little bit more. I thank you guys for watching. This has been Noble Rambler, and if you would do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe down below, below the video, so we can grow the channel more and, and see just where this whole uh, adventure leads us. So, thanks much, guys. Bye-bye.